What is up guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, today, as you can guess, back in the garage with the Mark 6R. Um, and we've got some couple goodies in the mail for her. So let's throw these over here. I've obviously just placed them on the car just quickly so that we can get them out. Um, so first goodie that we got in the mail was a set of uh, mirror indicators. So these ones are tinted and sequentials. If I can ever pull it out of the cupboard. Yeah, there you go. So there you go. Bit of nice plastic on there. I'll just try and peel that off one handed. Come on, you stupid thing. All right, as you can see, underneath there, not very well, but I'll, when I'll pull it all off, I'll show you. They're tinted and sequential, but these ones are clear and not sequential. So if I unlock the car, they just flash. So we're gonna make them sequential. Uh, and then also in our other goodie box, right here. Yeah, doing a good job opening stuff today. So we have a full lighting kit. So both of these are from a company here in Australia called Supernova. Um, they do super high quality, good stuff, um, or at least from what I've had um, and what I've used from them. So I've had this lighting kit before for the Mark VI. I've actually got another video on this on my channel already, uh, but I thought we'd make another one while we're already here. This will just be a quick gloss over where the last one was like a full DIY on how to do it. So if you're interested in doing this, go and check out my other video, which I'll probably link down below for you guys. Uh, but we have the full light kit that you need to make it from a gross orange color, which I'll just show you, or yellow, whatever you want to call it. Let's unlock the car. Jump in. As you can see, the foot rails. And then if I go up here and turn this on as well. We want that nice and white. We'll just turn that off so they don't get hot. Um, and what we're going to do is let's do them first because that'll be the quick and easy bit. Um, and then once they're done, we will go ahead. Let's make that. It's, we'll go ahead and throw these, which are obviously the mirror indicators, back on the car. Um, take the old ones off, put the new ones on. Uh, it's a bit of fiddling and pulling things to pieces, uh, but I think it'll look a lot better um, and sort of start to bring the car to just a nice, uh, nice looking aesthetic. And then also in the interior, have some good lighting rather than when I'm in there, there's no light. So let's get to it. Let's swap out the LEDs and I'll just show you as I do them. Cool. All right, I wanna make one quick note, which is the nice thing about the Supernova kit is everything is labeled. So for example, this lot, um, as you can see, it says footwell lighting, which is really nice. Um, so you know where this goes. So this is the left and right drivers and passenger side footwell lighting. And um, then all the other bags, as you can see down here, are all labeled as to where they go. That makes our life really easy. So let's start off with the footwell lighting as we already got them. So we're gonna jump in here, as you can see, just on the side, on both sides of the car actually. Um, and then up underneath here, we're just gonna grab in with a tool and pull it off. So once it's out, I'll show you. All right, first one done, we've got the old light here. The light's in, unfortunately it is actually blue. I thought it was going to be white. So I will be sending a message to Supernova saying what the go with that one is. Uh, but that's all right, we can easily swap that out after. So let's get our second light, do the driver's side. Um, and it's easy enough just to get your finger underneath it and pull it out. So I'm gonna jump in here, get this one out, and then I'll show you after. All right, as you can see, both driver and passenger are done now. Um, the blue doesn't look too bad. Um, I'm not really the biggest fan of it. I like this sort of just OEM plus sort of thing. So I'm gonna get them swapped out, but for now, does the job, makes it look a bit more interesting than what it was. Let's get on with the roof lights and the boot, um, and we'll keep going. All right, up next is our dome light. So I've just taken off the cover here. And then there's another one in the back, which you can't really see at the moment. Um, I've taken the cover off, which is this bad boy. Just be careful when you're pulling this one off, it is quite fragile in the center. Um, but just work your way around slowly. So we've got two bulbs um, and then just slide up in. So we'll pull them out. Um, and we've got our new lights here. So once they're in, I'll give you a show. All right, you guys remember how it was before. Now have a look at it now. Look, look at how much brighter it is in here. Like you can physically see what's going on in the car uh, without having to have like a flashlight on in the car. So. Those lights in the top make it so much brighter. So we're gonna do the same thing in the rear here. Um, there's another pod in the back. So let's change them out and uh, we'll pretty much be done. All right, as you guys can see now, we will have all the lights on in the interior and the exterior. Sorry, sorry front and rear. Um, looks beautiful. I've now just pulled down the lights to be done up here. Um, so we're gonna pull them out quickly. So we'll just scoot this seat back. 
and our last two, one up here and then one over the other side wet for the mirrors. So let's do that now. All right, just finished the install, so let's unlock the car. Um, as you can see, the blue lights turn on in the footwell. It's still not 100% on them, um, but I might send a supernova message just saying if I can get the white ones. Come up here, we turn on our lights. Interior is now very well lit. And then if you open up your mirror, we now have a beautiful LED up there as well. We slide that closed, and then now in the glove box, we now have a nice white LED too. So gone are the old crusty yellow LEDs. As you can see in the back, we've got heaps of light now. So let's turn that off. So the next part to this now is to remove the mirror cap and then the base of the mirror so that we can get this out. So as you can see, it comes with a whole new base, uh, which makes it easy. Um, we're gonna go ahead and strip this down, remove that, um, and let's put the new ones on. All right, quick little update. Um, I've just been getting through it myself as there's plenty of videos online on how to do this, but so you pull the mirror off inside of here, pull the cap off as well, um, undo the two little wires that sit on the back of the mirror, which is in here. So the two little wires are for the heating and cooling elements. Um, so obviously make sure you know which side is which. So inside is red, outside blue. Um, we already know that. And then we're gonna start undoing the inside of the mirror housing so that we can get this bit off and then also unclip the underneath. So let me keep going um, and then I'll show you guys once I'm done. All right, mirror looks like this now. So um, basics of it is here is your indicator. This is pretty crusty and got some shit in the bottom of it, but it pretty much like sits underneath here and then clips into that little clip there once it's lined up properly. And then on the front of that sits this bad boy, which has two screws in it, which sits on there. So one down the bottom and then one up the very top. Once you've undone those two, that comes off, and then you can undo this one, because obviously there's just the two little clips there holding it in. So we're gonna grab our new one now, which we just need to get the correct side, which I think is this one. Yep. And then once we've lined it all up, should just click straight back in. So I'm gonna click it in. We're gonna test it, make sure it works, and then we'll go to the other side. All right, that was super easy. Mirror is all back together now. It is nice and black out, as you guys can see. There's no longer any more like clear stuff on the, on the lens. So I'm just gonna show you the mirrors. If we come in here, hit the hazards, and this is all it really does. I mean, look, some people say it's not really that great, but I sort of enjoy it. It's a nice little sequential now, um, and it's all gloss and it matches the mirror cap. So black, black, good to go. Get rid of the clear out of there. Um, and we just got the other side to do, um, and then we are done. So what I'm gonna do, over this side, I've already disassembled the mirror, like so taking the cap off. Over this side, I will try and explain a little bit more on how all this pulls to pieces. So let's grab the tripod. I'll put you down and we'll show you what goes on. All right, you guys can see the mirror. I'm just gonna stand to the side of it a bit. So here we have the glass still in it. So you're gonna push it, uh, make sure it's like pretty flat and then push it all the way in on the side. And then as you're doing that, grab your fingers around the back. Just be careful with it so you don't break it. As I might do, you could just pop out. Just gotta be careful because obviously there's all these clips along the back um, and you gotta pull them out with it. So um, next step is to get rid of the heated elements just to pull them off. So there's a tab here which is stuck in and then you should just be able to slide this out. So like so. Just remember inside is hot, outside is cold, or red and blue, whichever one you're looking at. So put that somewhere safe where you're not gonna crack it because you'll need that after. Pop that back down. We'll grab our tool. So we have a screw here and a screw here. Mine only has one for some reason, so obviously someone's been in here before to, uh, what I'm guessing is to say do them and then they've taken them off when they've sold the car previously. So that's okay. When we put the mirror cap on it, it'll hold it all together, so that's fine. I'm gonna find another screw as well at some stage. From where maybe I can find one. So I'll put that in the car. I'll hold onto the screw so we don't lose it. Um, so this one's pretty easy. There's two clips right here, which you should be able to see. They will need to be pushed in. So I'm just gonna grab a flathead screwdriver. So a little flathead makes it a lot easier. Push in on the top, just grab underneath it, and then wiggle it out and then down it should come. And then underneath there is a nice little pin here. 
which is what you're going to need to undo. So push down on the connector, hit it quick, and you should just be able to pull straight out. It's a steel connector, so next time you put it back in, make sure it's really tight. Um, and then all we're going to do is we're going to grab our new mirror, same connector again, and then make sure the clip is at the top. Throw it back in. Cool. It is quite tight to like fit the connector in, so make sure when you do push it in that you do get a good grip on it. Underneath here there's all this wiring, so make sure you tuck up and around the wiring, and then around and under. Um, and then obviously you're trying to get the mirror right into place and to fit all the wiring together and where it's meant to go. So now with the pin aligned it's all nice and tight, um, and the mirror cap actually fits really flush like OEM, which is good. So that's all back in now. So the next step is obviously put back in the reverse order. So our plastic cover is going to go straight over the top of this. Make sure it's thread your wires through first. And we're going to line that up. And then make sure on the outside here that this is all encompassed as well. Um, and then when you throw the screw in, it should pull it all together. So I'm just going to grab a screwdriver. I'll grab our screw. And then in the back here, I'm just going to use the bottom one obviously, I'm missing a screw. You'll have two, so one top and bottom diagonally from each other. Um, and then obviously once I get another screw, I'll whack her in to hold it together a bit better. But for now, it'll be fine with just the clips in it, plus obviously the um, the mirror cap holding it together as well. So once you start screwing that in, you'll see the whole thing start to shift into place, get a bit tight. Should all clip in on the sides here as well. This should all sit in, so once that's in, we can now pull off with the plastic on the back. Now it looks really nice and we grab, I like to put the mirror cap on first. So I'm just going to grab that. So here's our mirror cap. Throw it over the top. And once it's over the top, you can hear the click. So that means your mirror cap's nice and tight and on. Looks like I haven't, I've missed a spot there. So we're just going to grab back in here. Search for our little bone. And I'll clip it again. Yeah. So, slide it on. Come in nice and tight, that's better. Cool. So now, there's no gaps on the bottom, which I had before. So on the back side here, I had a bit of bottom. So as you guys can see, if I push this in, we now have the nice new LED. We're just gonna test that quickly. Yeah. There you go, you can see the LED coming across. So that means we're done for this. And the last step is, Put your mirror back in, obviously making sure you've got your red and blue cables in the right spots. So I will just grab this and show you with the torch. So obviously this will go back in like so. Red on the inside, blue on the outside, and then, so there you go, there's your prongs, there's your two cords, hopefully you guys can see all that. Um, and then once that's all back together, we're done. So just throw these back in. So red, done, and then blue. I mean, look, it's not the end of the world if you mix these up or got them wrong. It's just for your heating elements, so if you guys want to have defogged mirrors, then I recommend getting it done right the first time. Otherwise, you'll be coming back in here to fix them up. So, that's them all done. I would recommend giving your mirrors a good clean after that with all your fingers all over it. But let's just flick the hazards on. And I will just zoom back out. And as you can see, both sides now have sequential mirrors. Um, it looks great. So that is complete. That's the lighting package done. So guys, I hope you enjoyed uh, This little portion of a video doing the lights. I'm going to chop and ch chop it up a little bit because obviously My install over the other side wasn't perfect, uh, but I hope you enjoyed and got a little bit of information slash Might go and buy it for yourself. So I'll link all the stuff down below um, Have a good rest of the day and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye